Good morning, everybody. I have the hard touch to uh, to do the summary of yesterday. And um, when uh, Francois told me to do that, I just think, oh, this is a mission uh, not possible. Oh, the effect doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just um, a little um, uh, burn, it's not a, a thing very important. So I take the, um, the, the program and I said to myself, um, what did you do yesterday? What we, do yes we did yesterday? And uh, first of all, COVID, again and again. If you have this one, I think you can go home. Okay, it's not the... The good, the good one. The good one is like this. Everybody here have the right one and the left one go home. I'm sorry. And uh, the uh, final um, show was the Bataba show, beautiful, beautiful show with uh, horses and, uh, and uh, Francois. <laughs> in a guest star, in the, in the light, and uh, it was very, very beautiful. Thank you, Francois, for uh, this uh, show. Perhaps you want to, to have a little uh, summary of scientific program? Okay, I can do that. And uh, I think uh, we can uh, uh, separate the presentation into uh, three uh, categories, and the first of all, the innovations. And Paul, the first innovation, I think it's a crayon or to me. It's a very, very interesting uh, uh, innovation and uh, perhaps it will be equivalent to a surgical hyponeurectomy, perhaps. I'm surgeon, so uh, I can uh, say that. Perhaps in muscle, perhaps of, for prevention. For, it's a very, very interesting thing. Secondly, Alain showed us a right hand, not a patient, only a right hand, <laughs> okay, to... <laughs> to see new surgical management for non-functional hands and it's a very interesting method and I think uh, we can do some collaboration with you uh, to, uh, to do some uh, patient, uh, not right hand, <laughs> uh, operating uh, uh, for, for the, these non-functional hands. And the third uh, real uh, interesting innovation for me, it's uh, the uh, translational biomedical concept with uh, um, Antoine Perrier to an anatomical modeling. It's uh, for very, very few patients, but it's very interesting. And I think uh, uh, if we have a Snow Golden uh, <laughs> Innovation uh, Trophy, it will be a, a, a very interesting uh, thing uh, also. The second category is the creation of algorithms. I think it's a very interesting uh, topic because uh, algorithms can change our, um, our, uh, our diagnosis, uh, our, our management for the treatment and uh, for the rehabilitation patient. And we have third algorithm, again Paul Winson, with the VIVE algorithm in complex regional pain syndrome, with it, which is a, um, a very difficult uh, uh, syndrome to, to manage. And uh, Marjorie Salga presented to us uh, the Delphi uh, uh, for the, uh, the elbow flex deformity and uh, uh, proposed uh, uh, an algorithm, algorithm for the evaluation and uh, the treatment of the spastic uh, flex, elbow, flex elbow deformity. And after uh, the paper. And uh, Roma David uh, uh, show a big, big, big algorithm uh, for the participation of the muscle involved in the deformation of the spastic and retractic akin virus foot. And uh, it could change uh, the, the management for this patient uh, too. The third category, what's new again? A lot of things. Franco Molteni uh, told us the question around the problem of neuroplasticity after surgery with, with a very, very interesting talk. And uh, Romain David uh, for the intramuscular anesthesia block. Paolo Zanibinati with the minimi, minimally invasive skeletal surgery and uh, the management for the uh, Chacomarie tooth uh, disease uh, with no cast and uh, an interesting uh, management after the surgery. Um, Thierry Deltombe with uh, 
a lot of questions and uh, <laughs> uh, a discussion with the French people uh, for the effects of diagnosis, uh, nerve block and tibial neurotomy of the spasticity angle uh, and a lot, a lot of uh, discussion uh, for, uh, for Thierry. Uh, Nicolas de l'Escalopier presents the assessment of echinovarius foot surgery because uh, as surgeon was we were uh, surgeon, so we, we are always uh, uh, happy uh, after surgery, but sometimes the uh, patients are not, and uh, it's important to have uh, uh, very objective uh, uh, measurement uh, units. And uh, Florence Angioni, it's near uh, an innovation for, uh, for Florence, uh, microinvasive percutaneous uh, needle tenotomy, and uh, a big series of, uh, of uh, patients. And, uh, and sports. It's not the third category because uh, sports, uh, we are uh, all uh, in the sports uh, with uh, the Olympic Games in Paris in, uh, uh, in 2024. It will be not uh, a year of snow and uh, Olympic Games and I think uh, François Genet will be not so tired than after Tokyo, after snow. Okay, <laughs> it will be better for him. <laughs> And uh, I have some take-home message, perhaps for me, perhaps for you. I share with you, Francois again said that friendship is more important than pandemia. And I think it's important we are all here. We have a COVID test negative and uh, we are together to share about neuroorthopedics in SEPA and it's very important for all of us. So Franco Moltani say that we are the lunar woman, men, Okay, we are inclusive with uh, women and um, we are the friends who made the future and I think it's a really, really a, a good take on message. And the first is the multidisciplinary. Again, again, every two years we are more and more multidisciplinary. This year, physiotherapist, PMR surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, neuroorthopedics, neuro neurosurgeon, podiatrist, and a prosthesis, and for first first time, an anesthesiologist. And it's very important to say that anesthesiologist Paul say about uh, the cryonorectomy and uh, in uh, our discipline, in our um, in our uh, neuroorthopedic team, uh, anesthesiologists are very very important. And next year it would be uh, other uh, other and other, not ne next year, two, in two years. Okay. Two year and a half. Okay, <laughs> and um, I, I think uh, it would be important to say that uh, uh, Francois Oldot and uh, he he, uh, he maintained this congress and uh, thank you Francois to maintain it. I think we can uh, applaud him because it will be it's it's very very difficult. Thank you Francois. Oui, yes. <laughs> This photograph is very, very uh, beautiful and uh, it shows all the, uh, the multidisciplinary, all the diversity of uh, the people who made neuro neuroorthopedics. And if we have a cluster, it will be always a cluster of neuroorthopedics. So it, it's uh, interesting. <laughs>